Larry Bell, Professional Achievement Bell's career proved that a farmer's son from Dolan could reach for the stars and make a lasting impact on the nation's space program. In his nomination form, Jerome Miles, also from Dolan and a distinguished SDSU alum, said Bell was among the first employees to report for work at the Johnson Space Center in Houston in 1962. It wasn't long before the mechanical engineering graduate's skills were put to a test as he led a team of 18 engineers tasked with designing, developing, and testing the life support system and the space suit that were used by astronaut Edward White as he stepped out of the Gemini space capsule in June 1965 on the first American spacewalk. For his work, Larry was awarded the Victor A. Prather Award by the American Institute for Aeronautics and Astronautics, Miles said. As his career progressed, Bell's reputation grew within NASA. According to former astronaut Jerry Ross, who flew seven space shuttle missions, particularly notable was Bell's work leading the cargo integration office of the space shuttle program. Larry and his team earned a great reputation for their engineering talents, attention to detail, and the accommodating manner in which they performed their tasks, Ross said. Since his retirement from NASA in 1994 as chief of the Cargo Engineering Division of the Space Shuttle Program, Bell has worked as a consultant. Much of his work has gone into developing a program to study the microgravity that research payloads will need to deal with on the International Space Station.